Pete the Cat, Big Easter Adventure. Pete was excited. Easter was here. He couldn't wait for his basket of goodies. Jelly beans were his favorite. Uh Uh-oh, his basket was empty, except for a note. Pete, please help. Find the eggs, paint the eggs, hide the eggs. Thanks, the Easter Bunny. P.S. Wear these. Pete put on the bunny ears and thought, A cat with ears like a bunny? Now that's funny. (laughs) You serious? Happy Easter, chickens. Do you have any eggs today? Pete asked. I am helping the Easter bunny. Sure, Pete. We have a lot of eggs, the chicken said. We are happy to help. But don't you need a bunny nose and a fluffy bunny tail? The chickens were right. A bunny nose and tail would be neat. Then Pete's costume would be complete. Pete put on the nose and tail like a bunny's. A cat dressed up like a bunny? Now that's funny. (laughs) You serious? Now Pete was ready. It was getting late, and he still had a lot of eggs to decorate. What colors would Pete use? Hop, 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 off to the tool shed for paint and brushes. Pete couldn't wait to paint the eggs. Some eggs had one color. Some eggs had two. Some eggs were red, and some eggs were blue. When the egg painting was done, Pete had a basket full of bright, colorful, amazing eggs. Now hiding them would be lots of fun. But where, oh where, would hide the eggs? Around the neighborhood for his friends to find. Pete hid eggs in flower pots. He hid them in the water spout. And when he was done hiding the eggs, Pete the cat was all worn out. Helping others out is what Easter is all about, Pete said. Pete's job was done. He was hiding the last one when the Easter Bunny arrived. Great job, Pete. You were a big help, said the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny gave Pete an award for a job well done. Number one helper. Helping others can be lots of fun. Happy Easter, everybody. Pete the Cat did a great job being the Easter Bunny. But it's not always easy being a bunny. Stay tuned for our next Easter story. It's not easy being a bunny. PJ Funny Bunny was very sad. He did not like being a bunny. His mother made him eat cooked carrots every day. He had far too many brothers and sisters. And his ears were very big. One day, PJ decided to leave home. I don't want to be a bunny anymore, said PJ. I want to be a bear. And PJ went to
The Great Eggscape. Howdy, I'm Shell. And The Great Eggscape. Howdy. Hello, I'm Gigi. Welcome to Gigi's Magic Mailbox. The Great Eggscape. Howdy, I'm Shell, an egg. How's it going? It's just me today. I'm on my own. The other eggs? Where are they? Good question. The thing is, sometimes they leave the carton on weekends before the customers arrive. They escape into the store. They call it the Great Eggscape. The Great Eggscape, starring the eggs. Escape, eggscape, you get it. <laughs> Me, I'm not really in the mood to run around, if you want to know the truth. I'd rather just sit here. I don't mind a little me time. No reason to go frolic with everybody else. I prefer adventures of the imagination. It's quite peaceful here without all the other eggs. Sure, there's a part of me that wonders what they're doing right this very moment. I have a few guesses. We are out. We'll return whenever we feel like it. Right this very moment. Whee! Ah! Uh, yay! We look amazing. So festive. Let's play a game. Everybody, pick a good hiding spot. Great idea. Shell will have to come find us. He won't know where we are. A few moments later. I'm behind a tomato. I'm next to the avocados. I'm blending in with the potatoes. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Being a potato is serious business. Ah, this is the life. When you live in a carton with a lot of roommates, you never get much peace and quiet. So I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. <sighs> exactly two hours and 36 minutes and two seconds later. Hmm, nobody's back yet? Where are Clegg and Meg and Peg and Egbert and Greg and Shelby and Shelly and Sheldon and Frank and other Frank? Did I forget anybody? Anyway, they should have been home by now. These great eggscapes are usually over by lunch when everybody gets hungry. I'll just wait a few more minutes. They'll surely be home quite soon. No reason to stress. No reason to pace. No reason to get all worked up. <gasps> noon? It's noon? Morning is officially over. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Where are my friends? Are they okay? Should I go look for them? But what if they come home while I'm away? I just don't know what to do. Meanwhile... <laughs> I must find them. Where do I start? Maybe in aisle one. That seems promising. Pickles, pickles, pickles. It's all pickles. Sheesh. Wait, Greg, is that you? What 
are you doing by those pickles? And why are you painted like a galaxy in outer space? I'm hiding. But why? Why not? Well, I found you. Indeed you did, Shell. Indeed you did. Shall we look for the others? Indeed. Found you. Found you. There you are. Found you. Is that everybody? Line up, eggs. Let's see. We have you and 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 you. you. That's 10 eggs plus me, which equals 11. Hmm. Wait just a minute. Where's Meg? Has anybody seen Meg? Meg! Wait, where are you guys going? To get some lunch, Shell. Then maybe take a nap. Hide and seek is tiring. Meg will turn up eventually. She always does. Eggs, halt! As the old saying goes, if a fellow egg is hiding, we must look until we find them. Or maybe that's a new saying. Anyway, we're not finished until we're all back together as a dozen. Got it? Good. Let's go. Greg, search the high shelves. Peg, check the low shelves. Clegg, don't forget the middle shelves. Sheldon, Look through that bag of marshmallows. Shelby, comb aisle five. Egbert, investigate aisle six. Me? I'll scour the discount aisle. Meg has got to be around here somewhere. Shell, Shell, I found a note by the cash register. It might be a clue. Well, read it, Greg. Okay, okay, you don't have to yell. If you want to find an egg, just like a pot of gold, go where things are sold in bulk and look for something bold. It was a clue, Shell. I mean, it is a clue. Indeed, Greg, indeed. Hmm, bulk, bold, bulk, bold. Bulk. Wait, I think I've got it. Follow me, eggs, to the bulk bin aisle. Onward. Wow, there are just so many bins. But which one is the right one? How would we know? Um, Shell... Remember how the clue said to look for something bold? Do you think Meg is hiding in there? Bold coffee. Of course, Peg, of course. Eggs, shoulder stack, unite. Knock, knock. We know you're in there, Meg. Hello, hi. I thought you were never going to find me. Nice work, Shell. Glad you found your way out of the carton for once and into the world. Thanks, Meg. But it wasn't just me. We found you as a group. And now we're back together again. Phew. You know, looking for eggs is fun. Finding eggs is more fun. But the most fun of all... A chance to frolic with your friends. Say, when's the next great escape? Shall we do this again tomorrow? Indeed we shall, shall. If you haven't already, make sure to watch The Good Egg.
Hello, I'm Gigi. Welcome to Gigi's Magic Mailbox. Did you hear that? That means something's just arrived in the Magic Mailbox. Let's see. What Hello, I'm Gigi. Welcome to Gigi's Magic Mailbox. Did you hear that? That means something's just arrived in the Magic Mailbox. Let's see what it is. Being a bunny. Well, I wonder why. I can't wait to find out. I think being a bunny would be lots of fun. Well, if you have your own copy, go grab it and you can read along with me. All right, let's find out what's going on with the bunny. It's not easy being a bunny. It's Not Easy Being a Bunny was written by Marilyn Sadler and illustrated by Roger Bolin. P.J. Funny Bunny was very sad. He did not like being a bunny. His mother made him eat cooked carrots every day. He had far too many brothers and sisters. And his ears were very big. One day, PJ decided to leave home. I don't want to be a bunny anymore, said PJ. I want to be a bear. And PJ went to live with the bears. But when the bears went to sleep for the winter, PJ could not sleep at all. Living with the bears was not very exciting. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear. I want to be a bird. And PJ went to live with the birds. PJ liked being a bird until he tried to fly. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird. I want to be a beaver. And PJ went to live with the beavers. The beavers liked to work very hard. PJ did not like to work at all. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver. I want to be a pig. And PJ went to live with the pigs. But the only thing the pigs liked to do was sit in the mud. That's so exciting. Something else has just arrived. Oh, I think the magic mailbox wants to play a guessing game. Let's try doing an animal sounds guessing game. The mailbox will play the sound and then we'll try to guess what it is. Does that sound like fun? All right, let's get started. What do you think that is? A cow, you're right. All right. What do you think that is? Oh, a pig, good job. And what do you think that is? A chicken, yes, you're doing so great. Let's do a few more. What do you think that is? A dog. Good job. What do you think that is? You're right. A little kitten or cat. All right, let's do one more. What do you think that is? A horse. You're so smart. Well, let's get back to the story now. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig. I want to be a moose. And PJ went to live with the moose. But PJ could not make good moose calls. Mook! Moo! So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose. I want to be a possum. And PJ went to live with the possums. 
The possums liked to hang upside down, but hanging upside down gave PJ a headache. Oh yay! Something else has just arrived. Oh look! <laughs> that is Stevie, my oldest grandson, hanging upside down at the park. I don't think Buddy liked hanging upside down with the possums, do you? I guess all the blood rushed to his head. Well, let's see what else happens to Bunny in the story. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum. I want to be a skunk. And PJ went to live with the skunks. All right, let's see what's in the magic mailbox. <laughs> Do you know what this is? This is called air freshener. I don't know if you've ever smelled a skunk before, but they are super, super stinky. And I know that if we had a skunk spray us or spray around our house, we'd want to use some air freshener. I think maybe Bunny needed some if he was going to live with the skunks, don't you? Well, let's see what else Bunny is going to do. It did not take PJ very long to find out that he did not like living with the skunks. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum or most of all a skunk what i really want to be is a bunny so pj hurried home the funny bunnies were very happy to see him pj was very happy to see them that night pj ate all of his cooked carrots and played with every one of his brothers and sisters. He was so happy to be a bunny again that he did not care that his ears were very big. At least everyone can see that I am a bunny, PJ said, and not a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum or a skunk. Thank you for joining me today to read It's Not So Easy Being a Bunny. That bunny was so silly. He wanted to be everything but a bunny until the end. I love that he figured out that being a bunny was the best thing that he could be. Well, you have a great day. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you soon.